Welcome back and prepare to be bedazzled because today I'm going to be commencing my review of the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Gladiator Batman action figure. Is this action figure a paragon of resounding perfection or should it be relegated to the dumpster or is it characterized by insipid, unalloyed mediocrity in the form of a quantitative score that the racist action figure to be an 8 out of 10? Would I deem this Batman action figure to be the quintessential Batman action figure? No. However, that does not detract from the fact that he has tremendous merit. How so, you may ask? Well, this action figure unequivocally hiss all cylinders. This is not only a meritorious, stellar, extraordinary, robust, stupendous action figure, but it's also an action figure that comes bundled with additional items. He not only comes bundled with an armament in the form of an axe that he could utilize to cleave and dismember his adversaries. But there's also an action figure that comes bundled with a collectible art card and tandem with a stand. He is sporting 22 points of articulation, which furnishes him with latitude for dynamic closability, which is a redeemable feature for an action figure to possess. This action figure not only has a copious amount of points of articulation, but also has a high quality sculpt, high quality aesthetics, high quality shadings, high quality textures, and high quality details. He is meticulously detailed. He emulates his comic book counterpart. Is this character derived from the dark multiverse? I do not know. That is an enigma. I do not read the um, DC comics. So, I love the fact that this action figure is burly, bulky, and brawny. He looks like he's running around to enter the fray and subdue and subsequently trounce his adversaries. Can he do it with ease? Can he mangle them? Can he mutilate them? Can he brutalize them? Can he pulverize them? Can he beat them to a bloody pulp? Can he clobber them to death? Who the show knows? I'm not well acclimated with this character's lore. Is he deemed to be a vigilante? Or is he deemed to be a uh, nefarious Notorious, sadistic, iniquitous, cunning, conniving, devious, malevolent character. Who the show knows. You can ascertain this character's background by reading the DC comic books. I'm not well acclimated with the Dark Metal storyline. Does it transpire in the Dark Multiverse, I'm under the axiom that it does. Portion guns bundled with some accessories, are his accessories scant? Well, the collectible art card and stand are not the quintessential accessories. However, they are better than having package that is mostly empty. He does come with a single armament in the form of an axe that he can utilize to lacerate his adversaries with extreme ease. His efforts are perfunctory. All he needs to do is just swing the axe and then his adversaries will become severed. I should just say cut to shreds. Is he brutal? Is he savage? Is he bestial? I'm under the axiom that this gladiator Batman character is aggressive and um, hot-headed. Is he impetuous? Is he gormless? Is he myopic? Or is he perspicacious? Who knows? I'm assuming that this gladiator Batman may be the antithesis to the traditional iconic Bruce Wayne Batman, but who knows, 
So I'm just deducting a couple of points on the basis that he commands a steep, staggering, hefty, exorbitant, lofty premium price of 20 plus sales tax, which is 150% greater than the retail price of an HR Tobis Marvel Legends action figure. If you're going to pay a markup that is 150% greater than the retail price of an HR Tobis Marvel Legends action figure, then the action figure should offer value tantamount to the value provided to the customer when they purchased an HR Tobis Marvel Legends action figure. That's the least that should be done. Even though this action figure is around 7 inches tall, and even though it comes with a collectible art card, as well as a stand in conjunction with an axe. He, however, unlike an HR Tobis Marvel Legends action figure, lacks a Build-A-Figure piece or a meticulously detailed behemoth of a 16-inch Build-A-Figure, and also lacks a comic book. So, at 250% of the retail price of an HR Tobis Marvel Legends action figure, he should come bundled with at least one or more additional figures in conjunction with comic books, as well as a slew of meticulously detailed Build-A-Figure pieces for a behemoth of a 16-inch action figure. I love when action figures have weathering effects, high lice, paint washes. I love when their details are accentuated. This action figure is truly extraordinary. I love his solemn expression. I also would have preferred if he came bundled with alternative heads and tandem with alternative hands. I would have preferred if he had fisted hands. I would have preferred if he also had finger joint articulation. If they were going to um, neglect to include fisted hands with them. Lamentably, he only comes with one set of hands, which are the hands that he is wielding. So he should have interchangeable fisted hands, but he does not. I love the fact that he's donning armor. I love the fact that his cape is ostensibly weathered. Is it tattered? Well, it doesn't appear to be in mint nor pristine condition. It doesn't appear to be unscathed. So... He looks like a battle-hardened warrior, and that is the type of character that this gladiator Batman is apparently supposed to depict. He's supposed to represent, he's supposed to embody, he's supposed to symbolize a warrior. So, 8 out of 10 is my final verdict. If he came bundled with additional figures, as well as build a figure pieces, and if the price point were lower, and less cost prohibitive, then I would take you to furnish in him with a higher um, review score. However, I'm done adjudicating over this matter. I hope that you deem this video to be engrossing, insightful, and of course, mesmerizing. I'm hoping that the price point precipitously plunges so that it is affordable to buy this action figure, squandering $20 plus sales tax on a single figure is a hefty price to pay, especially for another variant of the Batman character. Once again, I hope that you were amused. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.